there may be uh, in um, modern science, for example, the beginnings of an, of an understanding of how the human brain uh, performs its function as the basis you know, of mental events and so forth. And people often ask, well, you know, are we, uh, am I worried? What do I think about the fact that you know, brain science is now going to kind of explain what, what human thought is really about? And I would, uh, and I say, fine. I don't find that in the slightest bit threatening. I've always thought that you know human thought is found founded in in the actions that go on in the brain, but once you've discovered you know the mechanisms, which we which are a long way from discovering, of course, yet the mechanisms which, which go up to make human thought. The question fundamentally is: Does human does that render human thought? You know, irrelevant or, or meaningless. Well, of course, it can't possibly do so because if it did, it would, by its own process, render the idea that we thought about how the brain works meaningless. So it's not the case that when we have a description of something at a lower level, that rules out understanding that phenomenon or that um, behavior at the higher level too. And very often, it is understandings at the higher level which bring greater uh, sense of uh, knowledge and greater ability to act according. Um, so, you know, that, this is again, in a certain sense, part of the scientific discussion. The scientific view says reductionism is all that counts. I'm going to explain personality in terms of biology. I'm going to explain biology in terms of chemistry. I'm going to explain chemistry in terms of physics and ultimately of elementary particles, and then I'm done. But that's really, in a certain sense, uh, a travesty of what we're really trying to do when we understand the world in, in intellectual terms. We need to understand it at all of its levels.